Hi there, I'm John from CNCROI.com and today we're going to water jet a very large steel sign. I'd say the vast majority of the stuff that gets water jet is actually done using stainless steel and that's just because that's my preference. And here's a great example as to why. Now stainless steel, as you can see here, and this is just regular steel, as you can see here. I'll just flip it around so you can see the rust factor and the lack of a rust factor. So the reason why you go with stainless steel is because you don't want the steel to end up looking like this. And this happens very, very fast. Let's just take a look at the edge quality here. And you'll notice there's not a speck of rust on here and it's been a couple weeks. Uh, this was cut yesterday and you can see you already have a really nice layer of rust. Now that's not a bad thing. The reason why you want to go with metal for something like this that's signage over stainless steel is cost. If you have one inch stainless steel to water jet cut stainless steel or water jet cut steel, it's the same, it's, it comes to the same price. There's not much of a difference. Uh, there's some, roughly the same amount of resistance to the water and the sand. The major difference is the price. This is dramatically cheaper material than this. But the drawback is that it rusts. But the good part about that is that the rust is not all the way through penetrating. It's just on the very surface of the material. And that's a really good thing because what it means is that why would you spend a premium on stainless steel signage that you're going to paint if all you need to do is sand the surface of this to remove the rust and have like enamel paint sprayed on that's going to be really, really nice, really high contrast. There's no point spending the premium on stainless steel. Obviously the sign is not finished, the customer wants to finish it and that's the reason why we have the bolt holes up here going all the way around. What they're going to do is get a flap disc with an angle grinder, 
and surface the whole area. And then what they're going to do is use trim clad uh, to paint the surface of it using a spray. It's really fast, it's very durable, and you can produce some really amazing colors with that. And then behind that, what they're going to do is have a piece of plywood. Again, that's why they have the bolt holes. So the plywood will have the bolt holes as well, and they'll marry both of them together. Before they put the plywood on the back and bolt it to it, they're going to paint the plywood a contrasting color. So basically, they have a very highly durable steel sign with very high contrast that just kills anything else that uh, this could have been made with. Uh, if this was done, let's say, using screen printing, it starts to fade and crack over time, and there's no way to clean it up, so to speak. It's a one-time process, especially if it's outdoors uh, during the winter, the summer, all the different seasons. Uh, using this approach here, you have a very durable sign. After a couple of years, if it starts to look a little bit rough, all you need to do is, again, sand the surface of it and give it a fresh coat of paint. If the plywood behind it starts to rot, take it off, get another piece of plywood, make the holes again, you got your references, and repaint and you have a brand new sign every couple of years if you wanted to do that. So again, there is no perfect process, there's no perfect material, and there's no perfect design. It just depends on what you want to accomplish and what budget you have. In this case here, stainless steel was never an option because they wanted to paint the surface. So that's something to keep in mind when you contact cncri.com for custom metal signage. What purpose is that signage going to have and how much maintenance do you want to do with it and what colors do you want? If you're going to paint it, there's no point going with stainless steel and something like this is very easy to maintain. You just put it on the top of a building and you pretty much forget about it for, for a couple of years quite easily. So if you're looking for custom metal signage, contact me at cncri.com.